Welcome to Honey of Knowledge. Let's begin the mini lecture series on quantitative economics, the master's course which I did as a graduate student at Indian Statistical Institute. So today we'll be talking about econometrics. If you're not interested in econometrics, maybe this is not the best video for you. So you may skip it and come later for a different kind of a video. Bye bye. Now, if you're still there and you're interested in econometrics, let's begin. So what is econometrics? Econometrics is the application of statistics in economics. But these days, it is also applied in other social sciences like history and political science. And this is the magical equation of econometrics. Y is equal to A plus BX plus E. Now over here, Y is the thing which we're trying to predict. X is the predictor. In other words, Y is dependent and X is independent. X decides Y. A basic assumption here is we have established that X is deciding Y. Y is dependent on X. Now, what are A and B and E? A and B are parameters which we need to estimate and E is an error term. Now, what do we mean by error term? See, a basic background here is we have an assumption that the model is linear in nature. Y is equal to A plus Px. Now, it may happen that the model is not perfectly linear or it may happen that Y is just equal to A plus Px and not exactly equal to A plus Px. So we need an error term E. Now this E is random for our purposes because if it was not random, we could have calculated it by some means. Now this is a very simplistic version of uh, the explanation for this magical equation of econometrics. I call this magical because it reappears everywhere. You can say it golden also. So this magical come golden equation is a thing which you need to remember. Y is equal to A plus P X plus E. So we have this as our magical or golden equation for econometrics. A recap. These two values are to be estimated. This guy over here is random error. We can't do much about it. And this is our object of interest or variable of interest. We are going to find out the value of this decided by x. So x decides the value of y dependent on the parameters a and b. Now when we find out the estimated values of a and b, we do not write the equation like this. How we write it is y hat is equal to a hat plus b hat x. Now why we do this? Because we cannot find the random error. So whenever we find this kind of a relation, this relation is kind of an approximate one. So even the estimated values of a and b are not the true values. They are estimated values. So we find out a and b and label them as a hat, b hat. And whatever we find out, the value of y from x is y hat because it's estimated. So this guy hat can also be known as estimated. Now this is just a mnemonic for you to remember why this hat is used. Wherever in econometrics you find hat, it means it is being estimated by some kind of a statistical means. Let us take an example. Do you think that PhD graduates get better salary compared to non-PhD graduates. So you have PhD grads and non-PhD grads. Now if I have data on the salary of PhD grads and non-PhD grads, let us say I have Y1 y2 and so on till y n1 and for non phd students i have the salary data as y n1 
प्लस वन वाई एन वन प्लस टू सो ऑन टेल सो वी हैव एन टू नॉन पी एच डी ग्रेजुएट सैलरीज एंड वी हैव एन वन पी एच डी ग्रेजुएट सैलरीज सो कैन वी कंस्ट्रक्ट सम काइंड ऑफ अ रिग्रेशन प्रॉब्लम और इकोनॉमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम आउट ऑफ दिस या वी काइंड ऑफ हैव अ सोल्यूशन टू दिस नॉ लेट्स गिव ऑल द पी एच डी ग्रैड्स वन एंड ऑल द नॉन पी एच डी ग्रैड्स जीरो ओवर हियर वॉट वी हैव डिराइव्ड और अचीव्ड इज a kind of x and a kind of y and why do we need this y x remember the golden equation or the magical equation of econometrics we need to find out y is equal to a plus b x plus e so these numbers 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 is your x and y corresponds to these salaries put it in a different way we have given the x values for phd graduates as 1 and the x values for non phd graduates as 0 we can also get the average salaries of phd graduates as well as non phd graduates so let's you know the average salary of phd graduates as capital y1 bar and similarly y2 bar is the average salary for non phd graduates now let's understand a very simple operator this is expectation operator and if you operate this on anything this gives you a kind of uh, average kind of a thing i mean what would be the value of this uh, variable on an average basis i mean i'm telling it in a very rough kind of a way Uh, not uh, mathematically exact way, but for the time being, just take it as a kind of an average. So this is your expectation. Now this e is a random error term. What will be the average value of a random error term? Obviously, it should be zero. So expectation of e is equal to zero. Now. Let's understand what will be the expected salary of PhD graduates using this equation. So, expected salary of PhD graduates meaning x equal to one. So this will be equal to put one here a plus b and expectation of e is zero. Now, what will be the expected salary? of non phd graduates put x equal to 0 expectation of e is 0 so this is a now we know that expected salary of non phd graduates should be the average salary which is y2 bar so we can kind of bring this thing here and similarly we can bring in the average salary of the phd graduates here but there is a small catch here we can never calculate a and b we can only estimate them so whenever you are bringing it here and here you have to change a and b to a hat b hat so the modification is y1 bar is equal to a hat plus b hat now this is very slight modification a kind of a technical modification which is quite easy to get if you follow through this lecture series now what about this from here 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 and a to a hat so this is the key now let's focus on this 
Now that we have simple linear equations, we can solve them to get the values of a hat and b hat. a hat is already quite visible here. a hat is y2 bar. So this guy over here is your a hat. And this guy is a hat plus b hat. If you subtract this minus this, you would get y1 bar minus y2 bar is equal to b hat. So now you have a hat as well as b hat. So let's plug in it here. So y hat is equal to a hat which is y2 bar capital y2 bar plus now b hat is y1 bar minus y2 bar into x. Now remember we do not use e in the estimated regression equation or the estimated econometric magical equation because these numbers are estimated a b values a hat b hat so estimated meaning expected so expected e is zero so let's just zoom in into this equation further phd graduates have been labeled as one let's put in one here what will we get y hat for phd graduates would be this plus this because this is one so y2 bar will be cancelled it will be simply y1 bar which is kind of obvious the expected salary of phd graduates should be the average salary of phd graduates now what about the non phd guys let's plug in zero here if you plug in zero this thing goes so your y hat of non phd graduates is simply y2 bar capital y2 bar which is the average salary of the non phd graduates which is also quite obvious now you might not find this useful in this particular situation but this kind of a framework would be very useful in subsequent models which we will be discussing the other way to look at it would be that getting a phd is giving you a benefit of y1 bar minus y2 bar in your salary of y2 bar so this is your baseline salary of non phd graduates and if you do a phd you get this much of an increment that's it for this basic introductory uh, micro lecture on econometrics and i would be covering all kinds of subjects which i have done in my course at the indian statistical institute for my masters as a graduate student for quant economics and uh, i'll be making a playlist out of this for your easy usage so refer to the playlist and uh, if you haven't subscribed it why what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that red button bye bye